I do have now a few good friends in the USA that are wheelchair users. What they told me is that sometimes they can't sleep the night before the flight because they are terrified that the wheelchair get damaged by airlines. I'm Andrea Mocellin, Italian, living in Germany, setting up a business in the Netherlands. We are living faster lives every day and moving by plane, by train, by sharing, car sharing, any other type of public and private transportation. The idea was really like try to reinvent the wheel in the way to open up new frontiers for foldable vehicles. What happened is that once the wheel was unveiled in 2018, I got a lot of uh, attention from wheelchair users because there are issues that they need to check in the wheelchair before each flight. I launched the building of the wheelchair to a LinkedIn with a GIF image where I was showcasing the wheels folding and the backrest and the seat together. The result that thousands, the beginning of people, reshared the post, then become millions all around the world between USA, Europe, Asia. It was basically a social media uh, boom. In a few weeks, I had a few hundred pre-orders of the witchers, even if the, the witcher was not on the market yet. It was for me uh, unexpected because of course it was a project made on my private time, let's say beside my job as a designer, and now it's actually becoming a reality. They need to check in the wheelchair before each flight, which means that you have to be at the airport much more time before the flight. And the struggle is that also that when you arrive in destination, you need assistance, you need a lot of attention. There is occasions where you arrive at destination and your wheelchair is actually in another city because the airline, they, they move it in another place. Sometimes the wheelchair is there but damaged. It's really a big struggle that in some way also limit the way they can freely move or flying. That means that you always have to think about three, four times before making a journey. After Time Magazine recognized Revolver as one of the best inventions of 2021, I got 12,000 pre-orders from users, mainly also from USA and Europe. Revolver will also allow the user to store it in the passenger seat of the car while they are driving a really extremely compact vehicle, something that before was a struggle. So we want to offer a new independence to the user. If they're driving extremely compact cars, you can put the, the wheelchair on the passenger seat super quickly. It takes like almost 10 seconds to fold everything. The chance to collaborate with the user is the next step that we want to move forward to create a perfect product for them. Here he has a robotic assistance to open and close the door. They have a description of the different obstacles that they have to climb and go over. A chair, a slalom, rough terrain, go up and down the stairs and open and closing a door without the hands. Robotics, this is Team Robotics Team 1. Again, climbing the stairs with amazing speed. Through that slalom, he's a superhero in Switzerland. Just a little bit on the stairs before. The idea was actually to integrate exoskeleton technology with the wheel. So the fact that exoskeleton is something that is, of course, innovative, something that will come forward in the future for mass production now is, of course, something really niche. But with this combination of a revolve as wheel and the exoskeleton as innovation to bring to paralyzed people the possibility to walk again, we are aiming to deconstruct an hybrid vehicle which aim to guarantee the best of the exoskeleton technology and the best of the wheelchair technology together. Yeah, you have to manage the step.